welcome to Scene Through Glass. As you can see, I'm wearing sunglasses and a baseball cap, looking a bit like an idiot, but that is because I'm in Monte Carlo and the weather is freaking insane. Unfortunately, I burn like a peach or burn like toast. So I'm having to stand in the shade and wear this protective gear whilst the sun is shining. I was supposed to be doing a video inside today on my PlayStation 4. However, unfortunately, Sony seem incapable to make any gear that works continuously. So that is not gonna happen. Instead, Seb Delaney has very kindly lent me his Renault Twizy to go and do a quick video with. It's one of the silliest cars ever made. Here we are, the Renault Twizy. I, I mean, I, I can barely fit in the thing, and it's like a greenhouse in here. Firstly, got to close these badass scissor doors, which I have to say has got to be one of the best things about a Renault Twizy. Now, this is actually the first time I'm driving it, so I've got to learn how to get used to everything. Foot on the brake, and then you hold down the key, apparently, till it says go. It didn't say go. Let's start that again. Go. Okay, now I see go. There's no startup noise, obviously. Is there a seatbelt? There must be a seatbelt somewhere. Oh, it's so hot in here, God damn it! Reverse. Should I reverse? This is gonna be terrifying. It's silent. Oh, handbrake. And... I'm moving! I'm moving, people! This is the first time I've driven an electric car on the road. I mean, I'm not on the road yet, we're in Seb's driveway, but... No parking sensors, so I'll have to remember that. Drive. This is a very bizarre experience. It's silent. Going from my Jaguar F-Type V8 into, oh, oh, it's not comfy. I mean, it's so small. I really do not, I feel like a giant in here. I do not feel like I fit. Is it gonna get up the hill? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this thing is amazing. It's so hot in here. I have no idea how hot, I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky, and this is a greenhouse. <laughs> and we're off! It's, it's not comfy. I'm saying that right now, it is, it is not a comfy car. So the past few days since we've been down here, Seb Delaney has been leading the convoy of Tim in the 675LT, Paul in his Lamborghini Gallardo, and me in the F-Type. And it's been the funniest thing, following this tiny little twizzy around the mountain roads above Monaco. It just looks hilarious, this thing. I don't think I'm gonna to attempt to give you any kind of technical or informative overview about this car. All I can say is, it's like a tiny golf buggy on the road. That's all it's like. I was considering getting one of these for London. I still kind of am. Oh my God, it's like paragliders. So yeah, I, I really, really have been thinking for about a year now about getting a Renault Twizy. The problem is I've got nowhere to charge one at home and you need to keep one charged. But this is so much fun, it's ridiculous. This is the silliest car ever. It, it's, yeah, it's really hot in here. It's really hot in here. Cornering is awful. Acceleration is shocking, but it's this hilarious little electric car. I want one. I want one. Oh, the brakes are non-existent. I have to say, God, I love Monaco. God, I love Monaco. If you've never been here, it's everything you think it's gonna be. Oh, oh. Did I just break my camera? Yeah. Point of view glasses are going on. I've had a lot of questions recently about what these horrendously designed glasses are and why I only wear them on odd occasions. These beauty has been come off. Where am I going to put these? There's no storage in here. Where am I going to put these? Also, why? What is this? Seb, what have you been wearing? That is worrying. Seb has been wearing some kind of bikini. So yes, I've been asked, what are these? These are my point of view glasses. So in a second, I'm gonna put these on and you'll be able to see my point of view. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the GoPro that you were just watching on. And these are the Pivot Head Durangos. And they are my point of view glasses. I do not choose to wear them as a stylistic statement. I realize I look a bit like a dodgy version of Bono wearing them. But look at this view. Yeah. That was a box of spider. What up, mate? I mean, come on, people. Is this not one of the best places in the world ever? Right, is this going to be a safe place? I just checked. Mirror signal. Oh, God, now that's a big ass truck. Screw turning around there. And I can show you the beautiful road I just drove down. He guns it. Acceleration, 0 to 60 in two hours. Look at this, though, people. This is why my point of view pivot head Durangos are fantastic because I can't show you with GoPro. GoPro? GoPro, what I'm showing you right now. Now, the only thing with the Twizy is you cannot overtake. There is 100% not enough power to ever pull an overtake maneuver. I just love life. Look at these, look at that! It's a paraglider! That is, I mean, only in Monaco or anywhere else where they do paragliding. I honestly think I need to find a way to be able to charge one and have one at home. I love it. I love the Renault Twizy. You can't help but drive this thing and smile. I am aware though that if it was pouring with rain, I might not be having so much fun. The ride quality is shocking. I'm definitely in pain. I'll need to go and see some kind of back masseuse. Masseuses. Have a spa day. Also, I don't know, like, it must sound, the audio must sound very odd, so I apologize for that. Do I sound like I'm underwater? It's a very small cabin, cockpit. Secretly, I'm quite pleased that the PlayStation's broken because we would have been sat inside this afternoon playing silly games, doing silly challenges, missing the beautiful weather and the chance for me to mess around in this Twizzy. Oh, look. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, there we go. Tim is here. Hi. I know, I look great, don't I? I'm making a, I'm making a video. <laughs> what an idiot he is. Yeah, this car doesn't sound as good as his. Now the windows are down, I am loving life. Hold on! Ah! Oh no, that's cool. Oh no, it's not. Oh, f me. Hey. It's not an off road, eh? Bump. So there you have it, the Renault Twizy, the most ridiculous but amazing and hilarious car I have ever driven. I, I really want one. I legitimately really want one. I think it just looks awesome. I mean, it'll be miserable in London, but I'll get it and be miserable and have to sell it. But it's great out here. Great out here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you love the Renault Twizy as much I now do. And make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. So I thought I might as well now break down all the ins and outs of what makes up this Jaguar F-Type R. So suddenly this one popped up at a local dealership and I immediately fell in love. Black side sills, quite controversial on the 4C. This F-Type actually also has black side sills. But if it needs to go down, the wing goes down. No. Well, he is just ruining my video shoot. I have drinks holders that actually work and hold up drinks. 